Hi there, welcome to One Site Solutions YouTube channel. My name's Dan Harris and we'll be looking at redivisation today. This will be a three part video as we have to get certain sections in correct order to be able to, to redivise a graphic where we have one graphic to suit a fan call application that could be repeated again and again and again without having to do another graphic for each unit. First, we'll be starting off within the JACE. Within my JACE here, I've actually got some software, just some pseudo software to actually simulate a fan call unit and levels. So we've got level one, two and three within these we've got 10 fan coordinates all net from one to ten repeatedly and each one of these folders we have the same points we got a return temp a set point fan enable a cooling loop and heating loop within our folders we've got the same generic name throughout this is so that gives us the ability to use our folder structure so we can actually give those points individuality and what i mean by that is that if i go into the cooling loop and a numeric interval here I'm using the parent in B format naming structure and how I use that is I want to give my point my cooling loop singularity when I want to start my histories so I'm able to start them up it will not start repeated same names within the JACE so what I'm going to use is the parent name format so I can extrapolate the name and give it individuality what I mean by that is that I've got three parents here and then name at the end. So the parent above my numeric interval, my first one will be the cooling loop. But as I've got three, I'm gonna go three levels back. So I'm gonna go one parent, two parent, three parent. That gives myself level one. My next one, I'll put an underscore so I don't have a space. And again, to the next middle section of my naming convention, I've got two parent names. So I'm gonna go one parent, two name parent, which is fan call unit one. And last is again, just parent name and I go to cooling loop. So when I enable my history, that will give me level one, fan coordinate one, cooling loop. And that's how we get our naming structure correct. It takes a little bit of housekeeping at the beginning of it, but once that gives that ability to do that, I will then can repeat again and again throughout these floor levels. And again, if I go to here, go into my cooling loop, numeric interval, by using my parent, parent name structure, I can give it level three, two parents, fan coordinate 10, and again, parent name, heating loop giving it individuality. So if I go into my station, config, services, my history service, as you can see now, every single one of my histories have got individuality. So it will not be repeated and so it will not go out and fault. So I'm able to go along, highlight all my histories, and then I hit play. Go down to my folder structure, to my histories and my fan core units, it will start populating there with my naming structure, level one, fan coordinate one, cooling loop. If we go a bit further down again, I've got fan coordinate three, cooling loop on level one. I keep further, more down I get as it keeps populating. Each one has an individual history, so I'm able to use that. Next, we'll be looking at how to import these into a supervisor and what you need to do to actually get your naming structure correct. Because later on within your folders, you will need the same naming convention. Welcome back to our second part of Redivisation uh, videos for One Site Solutions YouTube channel. I'm Dan Harris and I'll be taking you through how you should structure your folders within Niagara. So I'm gonna just go into our supervisor here and as you can see within our drivers and Niagara network, I've already brought in the chase for the controlling of the fan core units. I'm just gonna go into the points. As you can see, I've already got a folder structure going which mimics what we've got going on within the chase. So I'm level one, I'm fan core unit one, I've bought in these points already. What I also need to bring is the histories for these. And there's a couple of things we need to do with that as well. So I'm just going to go into our history extension, do a discover, and bring in every single one of the histories within it. I'm just going to OK that. And again, highlight. And it archive all the histories. Now while it's doing that, there's something else I really should show you and it's quite important now with metasvisation. It's a new feature with the N4 and it actually uses the tag of the histories. So we're gonna to go to the AX property sheet and you've got persistent fetch tags. If I go and set that to true, save, go back to my Niagara network, view, right click, actions, and force update proxy points. Yes. What it does, it goes and fetches all the tags for me. Now, so within my folder structure, I'm now going to build a very basic graphic. Action. New view. I'm just going to call this a fan call unit. Now, 
I'm now going to build a very simple graphics just using the SVG palette. So I'm just going to quickly grab myself a small bit of ducting. Go grab some more points and bring them on a little bit of data and a bit of graphic driven. So I'm just going to bring in that point there. It's a bit on label. Do the same with the set point. We're going to fan enable graphic for my SVG palette. Coding coil. Bring them as values as well. And I'm going to bring it in that and just use the name of it as well as its parent name just to give it some individuality. Okay, so there's our graphic, very simple. The problem with these points now is two things we need to do. First thing we need to make sure we can get our histories from that. The easiest way we was able to do that is earlier on when we fetched our persistent tags. I'm going to just copy that ord paste it into my hyperlink and on the drop down box here I can now choose chart and that automatically goes and gets the history for me the navigation to it by using the tag it can actually go down into the history folder for us without us having to do much more work but we've still got the whole problem of these whole paths which won't work for relativization if we want one graphic to actually work we need the actual folder to do the work for us not the odds so by simply pushing this little icon here you can see that it's brought these whole paths down to these shorter odds and it lets the actual odds of the point do the work for us so if i just actually just come out of there and now we've got our charts quite easily but we've only got one fan core unit so now I'm just going to go in there, I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to go into my Niagara Point Manager, do a simple find replace on Anchor Unit 1, to Anchor Unit 2. Let it subscribe, and if I click on that folder again, as you can see, level 1, Anchor Unit 2, and it will take me to the history. If I were to repeat this again, and again, go into this second fan coin unit. Edit. And again, we've now got one graphic that's working over multiple values and fan core units, quite simply and very quickly. And as you can see, if I was just concentrating on level one, very quickly I would be able to change them very simply and have a whole folder structure of 10 duplicate them, quick find and replace on the others, and it's that quick. Hopefully this is uh, helpful to you, and hopefully you enjoy some of our other videos. Speak to you soon.